that was a really weird start to the video but you know hi everyone and welcome back to another video I know myself uh, it's been a while like a long while that I've filmed a video like a proper one like a proper sit down one so that's what I mean blah, blah, blah. that's what I'm going to do today so about a year ago in December so December no it wasn't December hmm about October November time in 2016 I did a video about a new TV series that was coming out on the CW channel and Netflix I think so if you can guess what it is guess whatever and pause this video now and put it down in the comments which video you think it is I'll wait okay so I'm going to reveal to you that the TV show is Riverdale yay back in 2016 it hadn't been released and it got released in January this year and I thought I'd renew that video that I made last year with proper information that I know so I'm just gonna go on Netflix now if it loads up ah. so I'm gonna put this here so this is what it looks like and as you can see from this oh, as you can see from the top it looks like a crime drama thing and if that's what you think then you're half right technically you are like 100% right but there's a lot of things going on so since January they've released 12, 12 episodes of this new series and if you haven't watched it yet go watch it because I do advise you do because it's very good if you know Cole Sprouse from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck you will know who he is obviously he's in there he plays Jughead but anyway, there's loads of other actors in there like KJ Apa. I've never actually heard of him before, but he's from New Zealand and he can do an amazing American accent. Oh my God. So if you haven't watched it, just leave this video right now and go watch it because I'm going to tell you everything. Well, everything that I can remember. I'm just going to tell you what it's about and I'm going to tell you what's happened as well so if you haven't watched the season if you've watched it and you haven't watched the season, season finale yet go watch it because I'm going to tell you what happened oh done it again right so basically so this is what happened in episode one. There's a sum up on each one of the episodes. What happens on episode one? At Riverdale High, Betty, Archie, Jughead, and new girl Veronica wrestle with clashing desires while coping with a fellow student's tragic death. So that sort of gives it away that someone's died, obviously. And that someone is called Jason Blossom. His sister is Cheryl Blossom. I like that name, but I don't like her. 
Like, I may like, I like the actress Laser, I just don't like her character. Okay. Number two. Chapter two, Touch of Evil. As police begin an investigate into Jason's death, Archie's guilt and Jughead's suspicion intensify. Betty struggles with her feelings for Archie. So, Betty has had a crush on Archie ever since they were little and she doesn't know whether Archie feels the same way and in that episode, I think, she tells him and he doesn't feel the same way about her so they sort of have an argument. And I have struggled like becoming friends again. So chapter three, body double. After Archie and Cheryl open up to the sheriff, Betty asks Jughead to cover the case for the school paper. Veronica tangles with Jock Chuck. So this is where like this point, the death of Jason Blossom is like way out there way out there and it focuses on the students of Riverdale High and Chuck is a jock that has all the jocks have a list of the girls that they've messed with and it's in a little book in their gym locker and Veronica is one of those people that is basically what happens uh, in that episode. Chapter f 4 The Last Picture Show Betty looks into Geraldine's past while Chuck head fights to save the driving. Veronica confronts her mum after Cheryl spots her arguing with a biker. So on this point, it says while well, Jughead fights to save the drive-in, Jughead is basically a character that doesn't live with his family because his dad is like a drug dealer and in the show, he's called a South Serpent. And basically they do, like they've been in trouble with the police and everything like that. So, Jughead doesn't live with his dad or with his mum and his sister. Here's a fun fact. His sister is called Jellybean. Why would you call someone Jellybean? Of all the names you could call a girl, why Jellybean? I mean, it is unique, but it just, it's weird. Like, that family is weird, but, you know. I mean, why would you even call someone Jughead? Chapter 5 Heart of Darkness As Jason's funeral nears, Betty digs deeper into his past while Veronica confronts Cheryl. A new music opportunity complicates Archie's school plans. So Archie is basically a character that loves music and he has had an affair. Well, he is... Well, he hasn't had an affair, but he has a relationship with the music teacher in his school, which is obviously not allowed. So they try and keep that a secret. And it all comes out in the end. And then this, the teacher leaves because she doesn't, she doesn't want to get Archie in trouble. So basically... The funeral of Jason is about to take place and Cheryl's a bit... Because she wants to know who killed him but everyone else believes that it's her. I don't know why but you know. I mean at a point I even believed it was her. So chapter 6. Fast, faster Pussycats Kill Kill. Now, Pussycats, the Pussycats are a group in the series. They're called Pussycats because they wear, like, little pussycat headbands. There's, like, there's three of them. Okay. Uh, while Jughead and Betty zero in on Polly's whereabouts, 
Valerie helps Archie with a crisis of confidence and Veronica reels from a double betrayal. Now I don't know about the double betrayal bit because I'll need to watch this all again. But Polly is Betty's older sister who went, who had a relationship with Jason who is now dead. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Jason was shot and found in a river. Lovely way to die. But anyway, he was in a relationship with Polly, Betty's sister, and for years has been a rivalry with their family. So neither of the families, neither of their mum and dad liked it at all. So they planned on running away together. But that all went tits up when Jason was killed. They were, were going to run it away together because Polly was pregnant and they're going to get married and they're going to start a life together without their family in it. Chapter 7, In a Lonely Place. Amid harsh rumours about Polly, Alice goes public with family secrets, making Betty and Cheryl uneasy allies, and Jughead, Jughead helps his dad reclaim his life. So Jughead's dad is a very, very, very heavy alcoholic, and he did work for Archie's dad, who was like a builder. But then something went wrong with their alliance in... Oh, I know what went wrong. I think Jughead's dad was stealing from Archie's dad. This is all confusing. If you don't follow, just... I don't know. Chapter 8. The Outsiders. Hoping to bring the Cooper family together, Veronica hosts a baby shower for Polly. Archie steps in to help after his dad's construction crew quits. So, his con construction crew quit because he was offered more money by the Blossom family this is really hard to explain he was offered more money by the Blossom family they were offered more money by the Blossom family so they left They left Archie's dad, so all the boys, like Archie's friends, like Archie, Jughead, Kevin, another character who's gay, um, sort of tries to help out, but that doesn't go to plan when some someone was sent to the construction site to vandalise it and like bash it down with... I don't know how to explain it. Hi! Zoe, did you go over the road? Why have you got champagne from in the jail? And I've just got a snapshot. Um. Chapter 9. La Grande Illusion. It's not like it doesn't, it's just the Grand Illusion, but it's French. So. Cheryl persuades Archie to escort her to a private Blossom family event. Veronica reaches out to Ethel and urges Hermione to come clean with Fred. So, basically, what, hap what has happened here is Hermione is Veronica's mum. And Fred is Archie's dad and they're having a relationship together and thought that their children would not know. But it's confusing. But Veronica's dad is in jail for fraud. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not doing a very good job. 
Chapter 10 <clears throat> The Lost Weekend While Fred is away, Betty decides to throw Jughead a surprise birthday party at Archie's. Veronica uncovers alarming facts about her dad and Clifford. So Clifford is... I've just got enough Snapchat. Clifford is the Blossom family dad. So it's Cheryl's and Jason's dad. Cheryl and Jason are twins, I forgot to mention. For God's sake, what am I doing with my life? And it turns out Hiram, Veronica's dad, who is in prison, did business with Clifford, Clifford Blossom. And now Veronica's trying to put the pieces together why her dad's in jail and if Clifford had anything to do with that. And Jughead doesn't really like celebrating his birthday. So... He was a bit on edge about the birthday party but Cheryl and her friends and other jocks from school crash the party and end up ruining it to reveal secrets about what happened with Cheryl. Just about everyone basically but the one big, big, big secret is that when when Betty and Veronica were trying to get the truth out of Chuck okay Betty went a bit overboard and literally dressed like a slut and wore a black short wig that was up to here one like just a bra and pants and tried to drown him with heels on and she actually said to Chuck she said tell me what you did to Pop Poppy Poppy tell me what you did to Polly tell tell me what you did to me as in she thought she was Poppy Poppy why am I getting Poppy from good sake she thought she was Polly okay chapter 11 to Riverdale and back again. As Betty and Archie prepare for homecoming, Jughead reconnects with his now sober dad. But Veronica and Alice conspire to secretly investigate FP. So FP is Jughead's dad. Okay. And Archie and Veronica think that FP killed Jason Blossom. Which will be revealed in the next episode. No, I'm joking. But he didn't really kill him. But they went to his caravan where he lives. Well, it is. I don't know why I'm doing that because it is a caravan. But it's home. And sort of looked through his stuff. To try and get any evidence on him. Whether he did or not. Because Veronica thought that her dad had hired FP to kill Jason. Final episode of season one. Chapter 12. Anatomy of a murder. Da, da, da. After FP's arrest... Archie, Veronica and Betty rush to show proof of a frame-up while Jughead convinced while Jughead, convinced of his dad's guilt, prepares to leave town. <coughs> now, they're trying to prove to the sheriff that it, the FP was framed because they obviously... The police went round F P F L L. The police went round F P's house after Veronica and Archie had already been there, so they couldn't actually. He couldn't have actually committed the murder because there was no proof. So obviously he was being framed. But. 
But Jughead is now convinced of his dad's guilt and he just doesn't want anything to do with him anymore. So he basically is prepared to skip down, get on a bus, get a bus ticket, get on a train to wherever the hell her, his mum and his sister is. But unfortunately, his mum doesn't want him. So he's going to have to stick out in Riverdale. But what is uncovered is much more interesting. So I'm going to show you a little... Aww. So I'm, I was going to show you a little clip on what happened, but basically they find a memory stick in Jason's like jock jacket that was dumped in the woods and it reveals who Jason's killer was. So if you don't want to know I would switch off right now because I'm going to tell you. It was in fact I wouldn't have guessed, but he, in my opinion, is a dick. It was his own father, Clifford Blossom. I mean, I was actually blown away. I was like, what the fuck? What have I just watched? And now, there isn't even a season two. I mean, I hope they're releasing more episodes. Because I can't just leave it like that. So that is basically the showdown of Riverdale. Now obviously there was more information than before because I've actually watched this myself. But yeah, so I know this video has gone on, on forever and I will try and edit most of this out where I can't speak properly but if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions or just any video suggestions you want me to do in the future and I've just got to add my favourite my favourite couple on that show is Jughead and Betty they are so cute I'm like oh. they're just couple goals I mean, there's not there's nothing to say. They just are couple goals, and I wish. I wish. Anyway, I will see you next week with another video. Goodbye.